At a private studio in the Nicaraguan capital, political cartoonist Pedro Molina is sketching out an idea. Well, the sketch is coming along. It's illegal to protest against the government here, but Pedro says with few civil liberties, many government critics have turned to art. Despite how bad the crisis has been, the positive side is that it has sparked creativity in people because spaces for freedom of expression have been closed off, not letting people march or anything else. People are now looking for an alternative way of expressing themselves. The violent clashes of a few months ago on the streets of Managua have stopped, at least temporarily. A photography exhibit at Nicaragua's University of Central America highlights the increasingly repressive tactics by national security forces to silence critics of the president. Claudia Gordillo, curator of the exhibit, says simply having these photographs on display creates a high risk of reprisal from the government. A todos nos da a mí mucho miedo, definitivamente. We're all definitely very afraid. This isn't easy, but the university wanted to take this risk, which may or may not be prudent, and it could have consequences. Across town, local artists have put together another exhibit, showcasing 30 paintings representing the 30 articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Artist Candelaria Rivera says art gives people a way to express themselves when there's no other alternative. Words can get you thrown in prison in this country. I don't think I would be arrested for a painting, or maybe so. But that's a reality. The moment we can no longer make art, what's the point of living? Artists in Managua say few places are willing to host art exhibits if they're perceived as anti-government. Since the start of the political crisis, hundreds of people in Nicaragua have been sent to prison, many for voicing their opinions or sharing them online. Back in the studio, Pedro Molina is finishing his sketch, depicting Nicaragua's president, Daniel Ortega, and his wife, the vice president, as two puppets. Scattered on his desk are the portraits he's drawn of children, activists and journalists who have been killed by government forces since the start of the crisis, an artistic statement in a country where words of dissent are not allowed. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Managua.